Guess what European Central Bank announced today, that they would slash interest rates to a negative 0.5%. Good gosh, you heard that right, interest rates in Europe are going negative, so borrow away corporations it's almost like free money, but if you're just a regular guy who's out there trying to save for his retirement good luck, remember the expression the dollar saved is a dollar earned, well now it's actually less than a dollar earned seriously, now what does it say it says what we've been telling you that the global economy is slowing down, and there is a recession right around the corner, and by the way the president of the United States is all for it yeah, Mr. Trump came out today and said he wants the Fed here in the United States to follow suit and go into negative interest rates, if need be here as well, which of course would be great for his political prospects and certainly in the short term anyway, but not necessarily good for the country and certainly not in the long haul. The president the United States is saying bring them on I love it. Well Trump is a real estate guy the first don't know what else you can say but you know nothing good can come from this, and I was little distressed to hear Alan Greenspan the other day say well you know if negative interest rates come to the United States if the US Fed goes into that territory like the ECB has, that's no big deal, when in fact it's a very big deal, the idea of paying people to borrow money is something, if we just think about it if we just sit back and think about it logically for a second, no one would ever give you a thousand dollars today in exchange for $900 let's say a year from now, and the reason they wouldn't do that is because people want to make money first of all, and because in that year there's some uncertainty, you might die you might default the person who lend you the money might die, so in exchange of that uncertainty they want to be paid, they want $1100 back from you in the year, so there's no situation in the human experience, in human history, without central banks and government treasuries intervening, there's no situation in human history where negative interest rates would just arise spontaneously, so we know that this is government machinations, and what I fear is that this is basically clown world, but it's masquerading is this kind of technical analysis by these academic economists who know more than us, and as anything but what I fear is that they're making this decision because they truly fear on a apocalyptic situation coming, in other words if they don't head off this recession where they may have already used all the tools to get us out of that recession, things are gonna be really ugly, so it's to the the point now where they're trying to do everything possible to throw the kitchen sink at it to try and stop it from happening, could I possibly be right? I hope I'm not, well I think that's what they did in 2008 after the crash. In previous market slowdowns or recessions or depressions the Fed has cut the interest rates, generally in the range of 4 to 6 points, but interest rates were positive there was room to do so. But today when interest rates it's only about 2%, it's hard to cut for points. You go negative and the difference between let's say going from 4% to 2% is actually much greater than going from 2% to negative 2%, in other words going into negative territory is a type of Hail Mary pass it goes against everything we know about economics and how you actually build a prosperous society, which is by producing things not by trying to stimulate everybody to buy stuff. You can't build the society on consumption if you could the Fed would just give everyone $100,000 tomorrow and magically we'd be richer of course we wouldn't be richer there'd be no new goods and services out there so this is absolutely a Hail Mary pass, that doesn't mean that people at the ECB or the Fed are bad people, they might honestly believe that this is what's required to save the economy but the long term it can't work, well the Fed just put a green haze around your head, by the way I seriously fear that what's going on right now it will actually cause much bigger problems down the line, it absolutely will, because you don't solve a debt crisis with more debt. The whole world is awash in far more debt than it was in 2008, which we thought was this great unraveling where we should have had bankruptcies and insolvencies and we should have had assets shifting around from bankrupt companies and bankrupt investment firms to more productive companies and investment firms, instead the Fed just reinflated, made it bigger. Today we have more sovereign debt, we have more corporate debt, we have more household debt, we have more individuals in debt, but you see that ever happens it's primarily bigger not smaller than last time, but that's the point, the Fed is speaking out of both sides of its mouth, on the one hand Jerome Powell is saying he doesn't really see a recession and that all the at least ostensible numbers are good GDP unemployment etc. But if we're in this rip-roaring economy as Mr. Trump says we are, why are we cutting interest rates it makes no sense whatsoever, this is a wealth transfer from the poor to the rich from middle class to the rich. 
The average guy or gal who's trying to save for retirement look at safe investment when you're making a point or two points in a money market or a simple CD or savings account that's why so much money has gone into equity that's why people are buying Amazon because little old ladies have to chase yield they used to get 10% at the bank. Our dads your dad mine and moms always told us, save your money son do everything right, be responsible, maybe you have something for later on. And we did that and now our government seems to be telling us no that's stupid just let the corporations buy a bunch of stuff practically for free and they'll loan anyone of everything, and it doesn't matter what you have that seems to be the message. That's the reason they want to get rid of cash transactions so they can charge interest to people for keeping their money in the bank, they want a world run by corporations and one bank, they will have total control over humanity, they can make your bank account go puff. They want to make cash illegal so you can't withdraw your money in the form of cash. Then the bank can steal your money slowly by negative interest. The truth is we've been in a recession since 2007 now heading for a depression around the world and they know it. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.